a nail eater? Yeah. Shut up. I mean, you, you've Is taken, that a real name of something? Yeah, you've taken a spade bit or an auger bit like this and you ran into a nail, right? And you either killed the bit or stopped. Okay. Well, yeah. how's it going, guys? A nail eater. All right, hold on, Ozzy. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta set up. This is, all right, this could be pretty cool. Let me get a camera set up the right way. Tim's never been in it. I was in it last week for the very first time. And I am going to say that this is probably the greatest tool store that I've ever been in. But I wanna see what Tim thinks. I wanna get your reaction. I just wanna see what you think. So let's go inside. Not only do they have tools, but they have popcorn. Who eats popcorn out of a cup? I got bacon salt. Oh, oh, oh. So we're gonna be meeting with Ken, and he's gonna explain to us how this store works, because there's a few things about this store that is not what you're gonna find anywhere else. Watch, it's all gonna come out at once. There we go. No bacon never hurt anybody. Just tell that to your cardiologist. Now Ken, I see you've got Porter Cable, DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita. You got all of these. I mean, you got every name brand tool and stuff that I've never even heard of like Freud. And I mean, can you tell me how you guys, what's the dealio with that? Yeah, so our, our goal is to be a one-stop shop, right? We want you to be able to come in and go back to your job site with everything you need except for the raw materials, Okay. right? So what's unique about that is we actually carry the full line of the product. We're not just cherry picking the best seller. So we want you to be able to come in and say, you know, I've got this item and I know that this company makes it, you guys carry it, can you get it from me? So we've actually got our Bosch reps down here and I think they've got some cool demos set up here. Um, I know one of them for sure is their new nail eater. Uh, this thing, You'll see, it's impressive. Ozzy and Rich, and Ozzy's gonna demonstrate the nail eater. Auger bit, high speed torque or auger bit. Everybody knows what an auger bit is, but uh, nobody's ever seen it work like this with a cordless drill at high speed. First, I'm gonna demonstrate what it uh, will do just through a regular two by four. So this is regular, but nothing special. Nothing special. <laughs> Absolutely no pressure. No pressure? Yep. So now we've got a nail. Yep. You gotta hit that nail, Ozzy. All right. You're in the middle. And over. Right there? Yep, that's it. That's the sweet spot. Here we go. Okay, so you hit that, you can see, you definitely hit that nail, you bent it, actually. So now how is it, is that bit shot? We'll go for it. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Let me see it. Oh. That looks actually in good shape. All right, so that's the nail eater, is, is that a, Exclusive to Bosch, nobody else has one. Biggest difference is you see all the debris being pulled out quickly and fast. All the flutes are a little bit longer than your normal uh, auger bit. And if you see, it has its own self-feeding auger at the tip. And then it's slanted it's just slightly. Again, meant to not restrict your high-speed cordless drills. Oh, very cool. All right. Thanks, Ozzy. Appreciate it. Bought one of these. 
last Black Friday sale. Um, instead of using chainsaws on the old big timber walls. Yeah. 15 amp. The guys love it. They, oh yeah? Yeah, eat right through it. Look at this. How many tool belts do you need? Because they've got every single one you could want. This is crazy. South wires, the cords that we use, I use in the winter time. And they're super oh. flexible. The polar solder right here. It's a $50 cord. My guys always cut them and break them. It pisses me off. That's the worst part about them. You get a good cord and then the guys run it over because... I mean, it's not theirs. So they didn't have to pay for it. What's that? I guess you blow some fuses, though. Ugh. You smell so bad, I can taste you. Gross. I don't think I've ever had anybody tell me that. Dude, I was like, I walked by you with my mouth open, and I'm like... <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome. That was terrible. Look at these. Look at. It. Hey Tim, remember how much we paid for our steel saw? Like 1200. Which one did we get? The TS 720? 700. I yeah, probably a 7. That's the 20. 420. 1500 down, down from the 8. $69. That's a demolition chainsaw. So that's the so this is not for wood, this is for concrete. So you can do deep plunge cuts with it and cut pipe and things like that and get a more even cut. So we don't do patios with it or anything, right? You wouldn't do patio with it, no, but it's for demolition. That's what we would use it for. Bring it out and zip, zip, zip. Oh, it might be pretty good. I don't know if you guys have ever ran one of those. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Though. They've got, as far as I know, 10 of them across the United States, and then they're online. So everything that you see in the store is duplicated online. And because they handle so much volume, it's my understanding that they have probably some of the best pricing out there. Because they don't, they're not selling lumber. They're not selling anything. These guys focus on just tools. That's my understanding. I don't know if that's a fact or not. This is nice. Dude. This right here, that's an air compressor. That's tiny. Yeah, I've got that. And you just set, like if you got a, got, got a car tire, you set it to like 45 pounds, it'll go up to 45 and shut itself off. And there's no up, tank. Can you air up a skid tire with it too? I'm actually gonna try. One of my TLB tires is low. I'm gonna put it on it and see if it'll handle it. Because yeah, it's battery powered, huh? Yep. So we're gonna meet with the DeWalt guy next, but don't read this sign wrong, guys. I read it at first and it was Land of the Free Tools, and I'm like, what? Of the Brave, and I'm like, ah, it doesn't make any sense. Land of the Free Tools of the Brave. Oh, I said try to get some free tools for you. Yeah. Corey, yeah. how you doing, Corey? Good, good. Thanks, good. For, thanks for showing me. So what is the latest and greatest from DeWalt? So the, the, the best new tool that we've launched recently is our new 20 volt max, four and a half inch blade. Four yep. and a half, yep. okay. Yep, all toolless uh, adjustments on your, your bevels and, and your depth, depth control. Um, you can cut through uh, two by material at 90 degrees with this product. Um, it does have a dust collection port that comes with it with a hose that connects to our, our dust collection system. Um, also comes with the, 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 uh, the rip fence guide. Uh, as part of the kit as well. Uh, runs off all our 20 volt batteries and is also interchangeable with our 60 volt battery okay, platform. That's, that's what um, I wanted which, to know. Which again increases runtime and power in, in, the, in the tool. Okay. Uh, our 12 volt line, which has been out for quite a while, we completely retooled it from top to bottom, uh, reducing. When? Uh, just launched in July. So like 60 brand days, new, July of 2019. Right. right. Okay, so these guys are looking at going, oh, I've got that. Yeah, Lift, you probably, didn't buy it. yeah right. probably, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Okay. So, major reduction in the overall size and footprint of the tool. Okay. Huge increase in power with the brushless motor. 
uh, and we've carried that same technology. What does huge mean? I mean, huge to 25, some guys. 25, 30 percent okay. improvement in both categories. Okay. Yep. And then we've also got it in our in our screw in our impact and uh, in our screwdriver here. Um, that and is then, tiny. Yes. And then they have, in addition, we've made some upgrades to the battery. We had a one and a half hour amp battery yep. in it, and and they've been upgraded to two. And then we've also launched a three amp option to be uh, to be purchased as an accessory or as an add on in that 12 volt line as well. And they're going to increase this lineup. Yes, we'll continue to increase our our offering. In okay, that. so if you guys are in the market, check out the newest stuff from Dewalt. All right, All thanks, right. Corey. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Help roll things around. What else are we, have we not seen on this side of the store, Ken? So there's kind of some weird brands that you might not think of a place like us having. Yeah. But this is kind of a cool example, an Edwards Iron Worker. So you can punch iron with this, punch shapes, cut shapes. I don't even know what this is. This thing's a beast. So this is, I believe, five ton on this one. I have no clue 50, 55 ton, excuse me. So you Why would you punch iron? Well, for industrial applications. There's so it's like a hole punch for paper, but yeah, for exactly. iron? So you can see this guy right here has got the yeah. round die in it. Yeah. So instead of having to drill the hole, torch the hole, if it's repeatable, right, you can have a guy just stand there. Oh, holy cow. Press the foot pedal, punch the hole, take it out, and you've got a, you've got a clean cut hole. You can shear, right, you can do angle iron in there. Yeah, this is not your typical off the store, whatever, off the shelf kind of tool. Right, it's kind of cool. I mean, the thing's a monster. Uh, Tim found his toy, you guys. Tim found his toy. What do we got? Yeah, IQ Power Tools. These guys make a really good quality tool. I've seen their stuff in action. Plus that cart has got the wheels on the back. You see that? And that folds up and you can literally roll it out to your site, uh, drop it down, cut your block and roll it back and put it away. Yeah, that would be nice, man. I think it's just one touch, right? Six inches. Of I mean, this is amazing, guys. That's why I call this the the greatest tool store I've ever been in. So we got the ladders right here, but you got every ladder. You got the king combo. That's an insanely amazing ladder right here. This thing. King combo. What are we going to be seeing next? We're going to look at the spade bed and uh, nail killer as well. Oh, so that's also a nail killer? Yep. This right. one is actually rated for an impact drill driver. Okay. We'll do the same test. Okay, so wood first. Yep. Now we can hit a nail. We're gonna go for a nail. Yeah, you definitely hit a nail. I can feel the shreds <laughs> hitting my arm. Okay, so let's let's see. Yep. Cut eight through. Right push there. It. Pushed it to the side. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna hit another two by four just to make sure it's in working order. Okay. Sorry to Let cover you with uh, sawdust. Can you turn it a little bit? All right. Yeah. All right. Nail eater. So you have it in different bits. Different sizes. Do and, they have uh, to ask for a nail bit or nail biter or nail eater? Uh, Bosch nail eater, and they'll have them here at Dabby Tools. Bosch nail eater. All right, you guys, let's keep touring the store. Here's one I've never seen before, you guys. Some of you guys probably have. It's called the Wilton Sledgehammer, and they guarantee you, they give you a thousand dollars guaranteed if you break our handle says that down there that is flipping crazy that's almost too good to pass up but of course what a 14 pound sledgehammer is going to cost you 110 bucks so just don't lose it 
Okay, I've, I've got to ask, what's up? What's the deal with these translucent hard hats? Is this just a gimmick or is this actual practical thing? It's not a gimmick. It's actually very practical. So they're they're approved for all of your safety ratings. And what makes them different is the fact that, you know, if you look at this clear one, you can actually see right through this. So what's neat about this, if you think about this on a practical application side, a lot of guys that are doing overhead work, when they lean their head back, one, you're exposing yourself to the fall risk, and two, you might lose the hard hat. It's not deep enough. Okay. And if you're in the middle of something, you might not, you know, want to stop and actually pick it up because guys are guys, right? But with this, if you're doing overhead work, you can see that brim is completely clear. So now I can look up and still see my hazard, but not have to expose myself to it and not potentially lose my hard hat. And if you're bald, make sure you wear sunscreen. They're actually UV protected. Oh, they are? They're actually UV protected. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of neat. So these, are, these aren't uh, necessarily new to the market, but they're new to us. And these are made by Port West and they've been hit, coming all these different colors. So I've had guys buy them just to put lights in them and kind of be fun with them too. Okay. So if you guys have used one of these, let me know your experience with them, how you guys have used it. I'd love to hear more about this. This is Edwin, and we were just in the middle of shooting a video in the store, and you've actually come to this store before? Yeah. What's it like? It's great. It has a lot of high-end tools. What's the service like, though? I mean, behind the scenes, if you got a problem, what is that like? How are these guys to work with? You know, they're pretty easy to work with. They're pretty responsive. Anytime I call in, they seem to handle it or point me in the right direction. Now, did you know that they actually have outside service reps that will come to your site and help you out? Uh, I don't think I knew that, no. I mean, you know, we're in here every now and then, so we don't need a ton of help. But Ken is one of those guys. Okay. So that's, so Ken, can you explain to me, because I didn't know this and Edwin didn't know this, what is an outside service rep actually, what is that? So our primary job is we each have vehicles, and I would say that personally I deliver about 85 to 90 percent of my own product. So what that means is I find customers, service them in the sense that I'll go out to their job site, find solutions for them, and then when they place orders, and I mean, you get it right, you're out in the field, sure. you can't always leave to go get something simple. That's when you call me and that's when I bring that to them and service that for them, take care of all the billing, warranty, oh, okay. all that good stuff. Okay. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool. I mean, if they can make it out there when we're out there, it could save us a trip. You know, this isn't always the most convenient spot of town for me because I work on the other side of town. Okay. So, like today, I just happened to be here, so I was like, I'm going to cruise in there and check it out. So, you're you know? like a kid in the candy. Yeah, so, you yeah. didn't need anything. You just showed up. <laughs> Actually, I do need a part, so that's something to go and talk to. <laughs> okay. One of guys, but, but yeah, it is a candy store. All right. Thanks, Edwin. Appreciate cool. it, buddy. All right, man. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. All right. Look at this. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how about you? How are Good. you? Good. Good. What you working on? Just working on a planer. Five inch wine that will grind in this gearbox. So we're gonna end up replacing all the gears and bearings and everything in there. Oh man. So you don't do light repairs, you actually dig deep. <laughs> we do wow. it all. Wow. And we fix a lot of things that we maybe didn't sell what if to. somebody orders it online no problem okay how do they get it fixed they'd have to send it to us so a lot of our online customers are at a distance yeah so if they want to get it fixed they would either have to send it to us or if it's you know common brand milwaukee dewalt Makita, something like that they can send it to their closest service department and get it fixed as well okay yeah. okay all right you guys we're back with ozzy and now we're going to be looking at what is this thing called so this impact is something very unique it has your quarter inch drive so if you're putting some screws in, you certainly can. But what's unique about it is your square drive on the outside. So you can use a socket. I'll have to show you what it is. So this is called the Beast, Ozzy? <laughs> this is called the Beast. So you can interchange between from impact impact or socket or socket driver half inch or three eighths inch half inch on the outside and a quarter inch drive on the inside quarter trip. Oh, wow. so patent pending or patented it's or patented by bosch so nobody else can use this for seven years currently nobody else has it in the, in the market the beast Correct. awesome this is makita's yeah. brand new drywall sander okay 
but it's battery operated. So it runs off their 18 volt platform, one battery or two? Just one battery. It's a 36 volt line. What is their what is their runtime like on that thing then? So I have not heard any definite answers yet. I'm sure they posted it all on their website, and I'm sure they're posting in some sort of square footage dimension. Okay. So, but it does come set up with dust collection. It's extendable. What is it? So is that the max extension right That's there? That's the max extension right there. Okay, so you're not going to be doing vaulted ceilings with it, but you're going to be doing your, your typical overhead. Right. Okay. So this is awesome if you've got to get on scaffolding. Right. Because you ditch the cord and all you have to bring is the vacuum. Oh, there. God. Yeah, are you kidding me? Trip hazard's gone. Right. And if yeah. you throw on their backpack vacuum, you're all, you're all set up. You're ready to go. Oh, so you can, you, you can use that vacuum, well, right here, right. this vacuum, right there, with it. Awesome. All right, Ken. So this was kind of unique. This is, this is brand new for Milwaukee. This is their, their one inch M18 impact. So for $1,000, this ships with two of their brand new eight amp hour compact batteries. And this thing puts out 1,800 foot pounds in reverse. So I mean, this thing, it's a monster. So I actually have a customer in my outside sales role yeah. that specifically works on train car derailments. And anytime they go out and they have to evacuate product, chemicals, whatever it might be from these train cars, typically tipped over on their side, all this good stuff, they're in the middle of nowhere, right? So this means that they're getting a helicopter, they're flying in, you know, pull behind compressors with half inch hoses, three quarter inch hoses, and then they're using one of those massive one inch impacts with a 13 inch extension to try to get these inch and 13 sixteenths nuts You're off. talking about the big wheels on the train? Well, we're talking about the flanges the that hold, house the valves to hold the product. Okay. So they have to get those off in order to be able to get in there and do what they need to do. Right. So like I say, helicopter, all this crazy stuff. So recently they picked up four of these and on one battery, lasting two days of work, they did four train cars. Shut up. Yeah, it's crazy. They love this thing, it's incredible. So that's a great testimony for something like this, and it's it's a unique application. Okay, so where what other applications of this, if you don't happen to be the one guy in America that goes out and flips trains back over that have fallen down and can't get back up, what would you use this for? So this is gonna be huge in the farm world. Right? Farm world? Farm world. Farm world. I mean, you think about the tractors, that, you know, the tires that are on equipment today. Some of that stuff is getting so massive, it requires a service truck out there. But with this, you can ditch all that compressor and all I that I can pull stuff. the rear wheels off my TLB, too. Right, yeah, dozers, anything like that. Because I'm using my three-quarter inch impact on all of my other equipment with no, there's no lack of power there. Right. Where is that? Right, this one. Are my half inch. That's their half inch. Yeah. This is their three-quarter, I believe. Oh, this is, yeah, this is it right here. No, that's a... Is this it? Well, either way, I'm using, actually somebody stole one of mine. Oh, did they? Yeah. Did you have the one key? I didn't have it activated. Oh, man. Yeah, somebody stole my, whoever you are, if you see, yeah, I want my, I want that back. They're nice, right? So, but this isn't something you want to use on your car tire, because it'd be missing a few studs if you put that on there. <laughs> Well, break, you can, I mean, it'll break but you can tune it down. Let's let's be clear. You can. Because you mentioned one key, that means like something like this, you can program in car tire and won't it tune it down to get the right torque setting on it? So it's not quite as specific as that, but basically there's a sliding bar that will allow you to adjust the amount of power that the tool is putting out. Okay. So it's not quite as specific as you know I only need 80 foot pounds, but you could dial it down to maybe 10 percent and start with that so it is it is programmable to specific applications okay so that's so don't be afraid you guys of ripping your lug nuts off or your whatever because you're not going to do that right your studs because you're not going to do that if you slide the, the power rating down correct i'm just trying to get it so they don't have to buy this one and then this one because of the different applications right one and you're done try to save these guys some money so let's go see dan go the grinder man, man. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're outside with Dan, the crazy grinder man, and you're going to show us the switch tank system. Is that what it's called, yeah, Dan? Yeah, so Milwaukee M18 switch, switch tank system. Um, oh. This is going to be a full backpack system, guys, that we offer. Um, if you buy the kit, you can uh, interchange between a concrete, uh, concrete sprayer, water tank, or pesticide. The nice part about this, guys, is it's completely compatible with all the different tanks. You just pull them right out off the power base. And if I don't want to be concrete spraying anymore, I can go grab my pesticide tank and not worry about any contamination. And click it right in. Oh, that is nice. And get right to work. Also, if I'm done with that, I can grab the water one and do the same thing. Um, nice part about this, guys, it's fully interchangeable with our M18 
battery system. So the battery is housed right here. So it protects it from any weather. So if it were left outside, it'd be protected. Okay. But it'll also um, be compatible with all our M18 batteries. This is a 6.0 battery that's in there right now. If you're running this on a three amp hour battery, you can actually get 12 tanks uh, per charge. So this would actually be double. 12 full tanks per charge on a three amp hour. On, a three amp on amp this hour. one, this you're looking at 24. Hour. Your yep. front clip isn't connected. I'd like to actually see how this operates. Could you show us that? Absolutely. So. Now this goes up to 120 PSI, is that right Dan? 120 PSI. Okay, so I want to stop right there because I've never actually seen any other spray tank that goes up to 120 PSI and there are certain types of applications where guys need a higher PSI rating. Absolutely. So this is something for you guys to consider just to think about. Here might be a solution for you if you're running into that wall or that problem. Nice part about this guys is too, no more pumping, so you're saving a lot of fatigue. You're not pumping all day, but also in the realm of fatigue, it has a great support system. You can strap this right on on your waistline and your chest line to distribute the weight across your full body. And it's easy to turn on the system itself right here in the switch. And I can actually adjust the PSI with five different levels as well. So you can adjust it right there on the golf. Right here, quick and easy. I can be spraying any, any weeds that I need to. Pesticide sprayer also comes with two different nozzles, two different nozzles that are angled in the orientation you need them. So if you need a different uh, angle, you can easily take the nozzle off this one and, and put these. What comes in a kit? So in the kit will be the tank itself, the three amp hour battery, um, depending on which which tank you buy, um, below the water, concrete, or pesticide. But you don't get all three tanks, so no. you have to buy those extra? If you buy, you buy, you pick one kit that you want to buy, so say I really need that pesticide sprayer, I'm going to buy that, but if I learn later that, hey man, I'm going to do some cutting and pouring, I would love an extra water tank, I can buy that tank set. Very good, all right, cool. Well, we're going to let you play outside with the sprayers, and we're going to get over inside, we're going to go back inside, aren't we going back inside, Ken? Yeah. We're going back inside, so let's get there right now. Yeah. Look at this. Stiletto hammers? Every aisle, I've never seen a stiletto oh, hammer. 200 bucks. A $200 hammer. Well, that's pretty light. Oh yeah, swinging that all day. Yeah, everything you want. I mean, it's just around every corner. Metabo. I don't know what these guys, what do you think of Metabo? I know nothing about Metabo. I don't know anything about them either, so if you guys have know anything about Metabo, let me know in the comments down below. What is the thing in the past? Uh, in the world of grinding, one of the biggest things you see when you're on job sites, or one of the most asked for um, items, is this thing right here, the spanner wrench. Okay. okay, what do you call it? Spanner wrench. Spanner. And this is, in the old way of doing things, this is what you would do. You'd have a flange on a wheel, your standard wheel you'd have a flange put on the yep. grinder tighten it down yep okay the problem is is a lot of times guys use this put it in the back pocket go home with it change your pants the next day and the, no, no spanner wrench <laughs> no spanner wrench so what we've done is we've actually taken this to a new 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 dimension this is called x-lock okay and spanner wrenches and flanges are a thing of the past no wrenches no flanges and okay. all this is is a ready to, ready to go system wheel goes on Boom, okay, no spanner wrench. And best part about it is wheels done, done. I will, I will race anybody with the old method in doing this one. And you know about steel. Yeah, steel manufacturers worldwide. So contrary to belief, they have manufacturing facilities in um, the United States. They're not just a German company, they are a worldwide organization yep. and I've been to their uh, plant in West Virginia and uh, where, they, where they make the engines for a lot of their stuff. That had to have been cool. It was really cool. All right Ken, man thanks for showing us around the store, thanks for taking us back behind the scenes. It's kind of, it's just been fun to experience yep. this. Now these guys do have an online Right? Online website, of course. Online yeah. website, and I'll put a link to that down below. So if you guys aren't near a store, don't worry. You can get all of this action right sitting at home on your computer. That's right. Best place to get it. Cool. All right. 
tell me, you guys tell me what you think of a video like this. If you like them, I can come back here and we can have a lot of fun back in that service department. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking, how do you pull apart the engine on a steel blower <laughs> or something and have you that get really in depth. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if you guys want to see something like that, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, hey, check out these other two videos right here. And God bless you guys and go get them.